Hi, throwing a bowling ball should not hurt. Should not have any finger pain. We're gonna show you some ways here, making adjustments to allow this not to happen. My name is Scott Pohl. I'm a three-time USBC Eagle winner. First of all, we're gonna start with a bowling ball that fits well, and I don't feel a lot of stress or pain in my hand. Well, how can I do that? Number one, I'm gonna do a ball check here real simple. I'm gonna take a ball, was drilled for me. I'm gonna put my hand in there, fingers and thumb, and I'm just gonna let it hang at the side of my body. So number one, I don't feel a lot of stress when I actually do this. It just sits on my hand. There's no extra pain, difficulties. I don't have to squeeze the ball to hold on. All right, so let's talk about some adjustments that we can do to make it much, much better. All right, first of all, let's look at some pitches in the finger holes. First of all, if I put my hand in this ball here, put my fingers in, I can feel a lot of stress on the right side of my finger, especially my ring finger, okay? So what can I do about that? Well, I need to change the pitch, go a little bit further to the right in that finger. If that doesn't do it enough, I'm also going to shorten the span take away some of the stress and hopefully the pain that happens. All right, what else can we look at for finger holes? Well, I'm gonna take a look at a ball here and put my fingers in and see what happens. Putting my fingers in here, pulling back into my thumb. If you notice, fingers are very white. It's not very relaxed in there. So you know what? These pitches have too much forward or pitch going towards the palm of my grip. I'd recommend going a little bit more reverse in the fingers. If that isn't enough, you can also shorten that span. Okay. And just the opposite, I'm going to take a look at a finger here where you know what? I actually just can't keep my finger in the bowling ball. So let's just look at this middle finger only. And if I take my finger out, I can do that while putting my hand in the ball. That typically means, you know what? I have too much reverse pitch or even the hole size is a little bit too big. That's gonna cause me to squeeze the ball. A lot of the time you're gonna have finger pain. You know what? It's not a good thing to happen. All right, what's other things we can check? The span of the bowling ball makes a big difference on how our fingers feel. Let's take a look at one example of a ball here. I'm gonna put my thumb in the ball and fingers on top here. And actually, if we look, the marks on my fingers is where the span should happen a quarter of an inch below that knuckle to a quarter of an inch past the second knuckle. Well, the span actually is pretty wide. So when I put my fingers in there and it stretches me out, you can see I can't even keep my fingers in the bowling ball. I actually feel stress already just by holding it this way. Imagine if I try to throw this ball. It's not gonna come off my hand very good. Chances are it's gonna hurt a little bit, all right? Okay, so. What should happen when you put your hand in a ball with the right span, you can feel where the span and you fit fairly flat on the bowling ball, okay? This is kind of a nice relaxed fit. There's no real extra stress. You can't really see anything pulling my hand or anything like that. And it sits very natural on there. All right, well, I hope all this helps you. Don't go out there and bowl and if it feels bad or you any pain, stop in to see your pro shop Maybe even give them some of these ideas. I hope it helps your game.